killed Agent Young, I'm gonna put you where you belong. I could use your help. Nobody would have to know. This Fair Play 2333, and I wanna give a salute to all my cinema cronies. Welcome back to the Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show, where you get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdown. I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford. We, whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford. Not looking for beef, but something you can't avoid. And if I'm on a mission, it's you on the voyage. Don Carter wants to bring Tyreek down for the murder of Junior. Um, and now we know this. Now, one thing we have to take into account that um, Tyreek didn't take into account is Paz is connected. Paz knows Don Carter. And maybe Don Carter either was an ex. Don Carter could have grew up in the same neighborhood as hers. Or Don Carter could have been a street guy. If you remember, they talked about Paz choice and guys or whatever. Um, Don Carter could also be Junior Father. We can't cut that out as well. But... We'll get a little more depth into that, maybe another video. But right now, this new trailer is fire, right? And Don Carter actually ends up going to uh, Davis and asking him, can he give him some information on Tyreek? And he tell him, nobody have to know that you're giving me this information. But when you a man like Davis, you understand that nobody will know, but you will know. Davis made a stern stand to stay on Tyreek's side um, when Noma offered him 200 k for both of them and he told him he was going to have to decline. He upped the blick on him and, you know, he stood his sign in the sands. Now, when we first met Davis, Davis was kind of the guy that you looked at and you said he's going to take whatever opportunity he can take to put himself in a better situation. He's not turning down any money. He's all about the bag. He's selfish. And as things went along, We've seen Tyreek do things for him. We've seen Tyreek always pay him on time. And I think it could be a selfish reason why he's uh, choosing to keep Tyreek on his side, right? Tyreek is a kid who's always in trouble. Tyreek is a kid who always need help. Tyreek is a kid who's always came through with the money, no matter how, what amount Davis asked for. So, um, this is a situation when I talk to y'all about sometime, don't cut off your nose despite your face. So Davis is probably thinking long term, right? So let's imagine Noma comes to Davis with Obi and offers him that 200 K and Davis takes that 200 K. Well, now you just made 200 K one time, but, um, Tyreek, someone who's always in trouble, somebody who you always have to come to the defense of someone who always keep your law retainer full. And also somebody who can help you get money now while you suspend it. Um, you take his side because you're going to continue to have money coming in. Tyreek is going to get in trouble again. Tyreek is resourceful. And maybe you can even leverage this and say, hey, when Noma came to me, she offered me 2000 100000 for both of y'all. But I stayed loyal because, you know, I rock with you, kid. And that's the underplay for the overplay. You don't ask for that favor right then. Or maybe Davis will ask for that favor right then. But you don't ask for that favor right then. You just say, hey. I did it off the love, you know, I'm, I, I, I rock with you, kid. Just keep it in the back of your mind if I ever need you. So it may come something that happens in the beginning where Davis may need Tyreek to lie for him. It may come something that happened in the future where Davis need Tyreek to get rid of somebody for him. And um, Tyreek will remember that favor he played him with Noma. And um, they're going to end up meeting up with Noma and have that meeting. Now, one thing Davis has into his uh, repertoire is that the only person at this point who knows he's suspended is Tyreek. I don't think Don Carter knows that he's suspended yet. And remember that Davis told Tyreek when he was in the shower with the two ladies and he got out to take the call. He said, I can't talk to you right now, kid. There's no more client privilege. Now, he could basically lie and say, hey, I knew that before the fact. But if they can line up the date or they can line up the call and they can say, hey, he called you on this night when this happened. What did you guys talk about? I do think that this phone call will come back up because he called him uh, just before he the same day that he ended up killing Junior. So I think that somebody may end up calling him and say, hey, what was that phone conversation about? Don Carter may also be um checking Tyreek phone records and that may be the re reason that he's at Davis office right now so Tyreek could be in a world of trouble and he could bring Davis into that now I do definitely think that Davis is gonna stay loyal I think Davis knowing the law 
he's able to play his hands a little bit better. And I don't know if he still have friends in high places, but he's still a pretty smart guy. He's still resourceful. And Tyreek is kind of smart and he's resourceful as well. So he would understand that if he had anything on him, he would come to him and say, hey, I have X, Y, Z on you and I can use this and I can come back with a warrant. Or he could say, hey, I have a warrant on me right now to check this place. You can actually flip and do what you need to do and tell me what I need to know about Tyreek. Or I can have this task force come up here and tear this office apart. Now, after Sax was killed and he was revealed to be the mole, I'm sure that Davis went through his office and got everything um, incriminating out of there. Now, Davis is being suspended for conflict of interest, and that's not a big thing. And he's allowed to have more than one client, and he can say that, you know, um, he was consulting them, and he can also say that they passed never cross. Who knows how he's going to run this? He did tell Tyreek he could be a decent lawyer one day, so what I said is maybe him and Tyreek can work together, open some type of firm. He can be a consultant. He can never practice law again, not at this point, but he may never be able to practice law again. But Tyreek can help this out. But I think that Davis is going to stay solid. Uh, here's a brief intermission. If you have Facebook, go join the group Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. Go become a member over there. If you have an Instagram, follow me at F-A-I-R-P-L-A-Y underscore 2333. Now, I want to know, what do y'all think about Davis? Do y'all think Davis will crack under pressure? We already seen Davis stand up for Tyreek one time. Will Davis stand up for Tyreek again? Um, will they become the best of friends after this? Will he become Tyreek mentor and help Tyreek life move further into the right direction? What will they be able to do and how will they be able to do it? Um, will Don Carter get killed? I know that's a big question. Um, we can assume he's going to die because he's a villain but also he could be a villain that um not wins in the end but he could be the villain that carries over until whatever is coming next now um when i look at an actor like michael ely and he brings in a certain type of demographic he brings in the same type of demographic that joey badass bring in a bunch of women but he does it for the older more sophisticated women so and when you look at a lot of these older characters that's coming back into the timeline that lets me believe that OG power is coming back, but um, just as another iteration of it, um, and it's going to be more centered around adult things, right? So when you look at these younger shows, they cool, and people will show up to watch them, uh, but the young kids, they don't care about appointment TV, so they'll go out and they'll party all weekend and then they'll watch it Monday night or they'll watch it Monday early in the morning, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. And that kind of would affect the ratings opposed to when you have this older demographic, they will plan to be in the house during this time. The women will have their wine. The men will have their beers. They'll probably do some nachos. They'll do some taco, whatever they're going to cook. But it's going to be a nice, comfortable night at home. So moving it back to the older demographic will help a lot, especially if ghosts come back. But y'all drop down below and let me know y'all thoughts on this. I need y'all to keep supporting the channel with that like button. Salute to all the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.